This guy named Andy Brower, I don't know if you've ever heard of Andy, but he had a shop in North Hollywood and he rented out vintage gear. He had a Dumble Overdrive Special and I played through it and just flipped, you know. From then on, I rented it from him whenever I had a gig uh, until I could actually buy one. At that time, you know, I paid $1,200 for my first Dumble amplifier. $1,200 was a lot of money at that time, actually. <laughs> 1982 or whenever it was. And uh, 10 years later, the second one I bought from him for 13. <laughs> That's unbelievable, man. Uh, but in any case, the, the only thing I can say, for, and for what it's worth is, it's like, you know, I, I just kind of describe it as, it has like this perfect sonic curve, you know? The lows are deep and rich, but not uh, unclear, you know? Uh, it doesn't, you know, mush out down there, you know, like some amps will. You have the frequencies, you know, they're there for your use. You know, mid-range, punchy and clear. And the high end, bright, clear, but doesn't hurt your ears, you know. It's loud, but it sounds good, you know, it doesn't hurt. I don't know if you know this, but it's a fact. Uh, Alexander told me later, after I'd already bought one of the amps from him, he told me that he used to hear me play uh, up in Santa Cruz, Northern California, uh, and I was playing through a blackface uh, piggyback basement. And he said that's where he got the idea for the overdrive special. And then he started modifying uh, Fender basement heads and eventually developed the overdrive special. So I'm the reason, I'm the inception part. <laughs> for the Overdrive Special, which is probably the most famous app in the world. I mean, I can play like myself and sound like myself through other amplifiers, you know. But the last thing I want to do is stand next to somebody else who has one. <laughs>